Well, somebody didn't want to move. They were quite happy where they were. Excuse me, old lady. It's time for you to move. Go on. She says, I don't want to move. Come on. Come on, old girl. Come on. Atta girl. Oh, it's the lame girl gone lame again. Come on, old girl. I'm going to walk you back up. This is very annoying. Come on. Come on. And we got her totally right, and she's gone lame again. She had over 10 days worth of antibiotics, and it's the same problem by the looks of it. Oh, come on. Come on. Ugh. There. Now. No scald. Yeah, it's in the foot again. See, that's fine. It's not scald or at all. There's no evidence of anything wrong. There's no heat up her limb, like when the vet came. There's a bit of sensitivity on that inside claw. There, right in there. You can see she's pulling the leg back. There's fine. Right in there. Otherwise, the foot's fine, no scald. I mean, I suppose I could prune her foot a little bit, clip her, trim her foot, but that's not what's causing her to be lame. Yeah, it's just on that inside of that cleat or claw or whatever you want to call it. Come on, come on, girl. Come on, you gotta get up. Come on. I know we had a struggle there. Come on. Atta girl. Come on. Let's go. There's more grass up in the other field. Come on. We'll just walk slowly up. And then you can lounge around and graze to your heart's content. She's having a pee. Come on. I know. Come on. Come on. I <sighs> have to do antibiotics again. That means bringing her in, and at the moment it's too hot for her to go inside, and it's better for these two to be outside. Once she gets into the other field, there'll be loads of delicious grass and stuff. Look at her. She's eating the thistle, actually. Literally eating the thistle. I should look into what's in thistles that a sheep would eat them. Because as you can see, there's plenty of other grass around. Come on. Up you go. Come on. Poor girl. This is gonna be such an effort, but I'll leave her as soon as we get into the other field. Right next to it, there's the water tank, the gate. Right next to the gate is the water tank where she can have a sup of water. And there's loads of diversity in the field. So she can eat, hopefully medicinally, 
recuperate. Come on. Atta girl. There's nothing other than an internal kind of infection, which is really weird. It doesn't smell bad. None of the normal things, which you can see why I thought originally when the, before the vet came, maybe she'd broken something, but nope. Legs fine and the antibiotics worked. So there's a huge diversity of herbs and legumes and grasses. I might cut some willow for her. Willow is like aspirin. That, I'll go get some willow for her. Maybe she'll like that. But I'll wait until I get her into this field. Come on. I know, it's hot work. Come on, girl. She's got such a lovely, soft fleece, this yo. She's almost wa working, walking normal on it, almost. Come on, girl. Atta girl. Everybody else has gone through. There we go. Okay. Close this gate and then, and then I'll go and get some willow for her. Underneath the horse chestnuts, these guys are chowing down on the cow parsley. Yum, 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 yum. Munching on the cow parsley. She's got cleavers all over her, down her front. Look at the cleavers. <laughs> I've just picked up some willow for that yo. And I'm now gonna pick some horse chestnut leaves, which are anti-inflammatory. And hopefully she'll like these. Oh, there's lots of baby horse chestnuts. Hopefully she'll come down here and get some. Look at them. Wading through a sea of grass. This field hasn't been grazed in since December, I think. So it's had about five months of a break of grazing. They're all racing up. They all like being under the lime tree. All the horse parsley, horse parsley, Cow parsley that's under the lime tree will be eaten by tomorrow. Sheep are having a lovely time munching the cow parsley. Isn't that right, Ebony? Look at that cleavers all over your front and horse parsley. Yum, 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 yum. Not horse parsley, cow parsley, cow parsley. I'm constantly calling it horse parsley. My head today, calling an iris the wrong name, cow parsley the wrong name. I'll be calling myself my own wrong name soon. This yo here is browsing the lime leaves, the low hanging lime leaves. Look at that, yum, yum, yum. Oop, she says, I'm not gonna allow you filming me browsing. But they get huge diversity, there it is. She's browsing them in under there. So are all the others. 
This is the favorite hangout underneath this lime tree. So wonderfully thick. Ebony wants my medicinal herbs. You're not getting them. You can go and get your own. I'm bringing this to the lame yo. You just go back under the tree and browse your lime tree browse and your cow parsley and your cleavers and look at her browsing the lime trees. Okay, I'm gonna go feed the yo her herbal mixture. Well, she's right where I left her. Let's see if she wants some willow. Yep, definitely. The aspirin of the willow will help her. Oh, no, you think I'm moving you. No, okay. I'm gonna try and give this to her because she did eat a bit of it. Dogs, go away. Now. There we go. Eating. Maya, away, go away. Away, go away. Good dogs. Look at her, she's eating the willow. Well, she was eating the willow. Yep, she's eating the willow. That will be lovely aspirin painkiller for her. That's all the aspirin painkiller she's eating. She's eating a lot of the um, shepherd's purse. By the way, I also got you some oxtail daisies. Would you like those? Yeah, you like those. Oxtail daisies are yummy. How about some horse chestnut? No? How about the willow? No, okay. Well, medicinal quality, the quantities. Anyway, she's loving the uh, shepherd's purse, so there must be something in that. Well, the lambs are testing it. Anyway, I'm going to leave her be. Come on, pups. Come on. Come on. Good dogs. Out of pups. Good girl.